I'm Damon from Joy. I'm going to talk you through today the new Joy Cubby Sleeve. So this isn't just a travel cot as you will see. So it comes with all the usual travel cot bits, a nice convenient carry handle and a carry bag. As we open it out from the carry bag itself, it's very, very easy to assemble. So once we've got this product itself out of the bag, basically we have the mattress that wraps around the structure itself. So we can use, loosen these Velcro straps there to then assemble the travel cot. So to do so, we pull up on the sides, making sure that it's fully connected on both sides of it. Open it out slightly and do the side, same to the sides. Once we've done that, the best tip to push down in this centre section is to just lift one side. Then as we're pushing down in the middle, it allows all the legs to open out and do so very, very smoothly. The mattress is a good quality mattress in the respect that we do have these stiffening bars. So what these bars help to do is keep this mattress so it's lovely and level and stops it uh, concertining up like some of the uh, others that are out on the market. So connect the bars together, we'll see that we do have a solid pocket end, a centre loop and one with Velcro. So we go away from the Velcro one, through the centre centre hoop, into the solid one and that allows us then to open the Velcro up and get that stiffener bar in position. Oops, we've connected the other bar, again just repeat exactly the same procedure. Velcro into place. We then have four Velcro panels on the mattress that connect to the bassinets. That keeps that perfectly positioned and level when it's in use. Um, <clears throat> The great thing with the Cubby Sleep is it isn't just a standard travel car. So yes, it's got a basset out and does all the functions of a travel car, but it also can be used in the bedroom and tied against the bed itself. So we have these two buttons here that allows that side to drop on down to give good co-sleeping options uh, with regards to tying to the bed. How do we tie it to the bed? Very simply, we have the red clips on the back side of it and we have two straps that come with the product of a significant enough length, this will go around your queen size box beds as well as slatted bases etc and works in the same format. So first of all identify the end that's got the male and the female component and we can connect that straight in here. It allows us then to make a loop out of this bit, so whether it's going right the way around a box bed or just simply around the slats. What we do of course is go around the slatted base or box bed bringing that male clip back so it can connect up here and then we simply just tighten this up so it's pulling the cubby sleeve up against the uh, bed nice and tight and securely. Once we have got it connected to the bed and we're going to move the cot downstairs or, or go visiting etc we can simply just disconnect it from that section and it will leave it ready to reconnect again when we come back to the bedroom. So the beauty with this of course being that when it is in its sort of bedside mode, of course that is the bedside there, and um, we do actually have some extra storage we can utilise. So we can undo this zip here, giving us access then to blanket or nappy storage etc whilst we're using it in the bedroom scenario, and um, add a little feature on there. Um, and the product itself, um, of course, can be used with the bassinet through to around about six months. So it's when the child can sit up, that's when we'll drop the mattress down to the lower position. So to do that, we simply remove the mattress. As we've removed the mattress, we have got a zip on the inner side. So we'll simply locate the zip, undo the bassinet, so we'll simply zip all the way around, fully then removing the bassinet system. Now what we can do is drop the uh, mattress down to the lower position. So again we have those four Velcro panels and then we can align those down with the actual base system itself. So that can connect straight into place like so, keeping the mattress firmly secured as well as nice and level. When we're using it in this lower position, the cubby sleeve gives us one real great advantage. The biggest trouble with travel cots is of course the height and sometimes reaching down to pick a sleeping child from the lower position can be very difficult. With the drop down side, this allows really good easy access for anybody to gain uh, access to that child when they're in the lower position to lift them out. So a real great advantage as a travel cot system in its own right. What we also can utilise is that same zip access. So when the child is in the playing mode etc, we can have toys 
uh, within it, open the zip and it allows easy access for the child to get in and out to gain access to the toys and hopefully keep the toys contained in one place. So Cubby Sleep is not just a travel cot, not just a bedside sleeper, combines the two and harmonises to give us some real great advantages. But of course, the same simple, easy folding system that we're used to with a travel cot. So we simply pull the central red loop to start with. As we pull that there, we can then fold down the sides and making sure we do get not just one side disabled, but both sides. Same again there, the same at the ends. It will all simply fold together with a mattress wrapping back around it to create then a great travel solution or the ease of transportation during the daytime to move from uh, bedroom down to uh, living areas. So, uh, wonderful price for the cubby sleep and given the great longevity of not just lasting to six months but lasting all the way through to two years.